What do you think of the Morgan Stanley call in terms of the U.S. risk assets and where do you see the most opportunity regionally? I think uh, uh, I agree that, uh, you know, it's going to be a cash 2020 type situation for U.S. assets uh, in 2020 because of the uh, mainly because of the U.S. presidential risk. Uh, it's going to be, I think, a lot of uncertainty. I think the potential for race to get tighter is going to be quite high. <coughs> and at the same time, we know that some of the candidates uh, who can become uh, uh, front runners have very extreme policies, especially on the Democrat side. And that itself, I think if it mixes up with the very high valuations and the late cycle dynamics in the U.S., I think... Uh, I agree that can create a lot of headwinds for for U.S. assets. However, where I do see uh, opportunities is actually European cyclicals. Firstly, I think growth can stabilize at this very low level, and I think the very negative pricing of growth outcomes can, uh, which we have started to uh, to see that it is coming out, can continue for the next few months. And then, if as we saw that China is also, I think, uh, jumping the gun on on a monetary stimulus. I think they relied a lot on fiscal stimulus in 2019. They were quite hawkish on the monetary side uh, uh, this year, but I think that is also changing. We saw the cut uh, in the seven-day repo rate. They haven't done a cut since uh, 2015 October. I think that can support some of the valuations in emerging markets and China, which are not aggressive. And I think where another area where I think uh, some opportunity lie is is in this you know low yielding, low rates environment, whereby you know corporate bonds, especially in Asia, can do quite well because I think because of the hefty spread and the fact that. You you know, uh, the search for yield environment will potentially come back as, as uh, it becomes clearer that central banks will remain easy going forward.